Hey everyone, I'm Big John, and welcome to another episode of the Diz Ability Show. Now, this week I want to talk to you about one of our recurring topics here, and that is restaurant tips. Because I know I do this one all the time, but I only do it because it's very important that people with disabilities have a good time at the many restaurants that Disney has because Disney, um, Disney, uh, Disney accepts the whatever you, your dietary needs may be. So what you do is that you what we like to do in advance is that we, when we look at a restaurant, we go online and we look at what their menu is. And if the menu is is par to what you want, give it a shot. But, and if there are some foods that you're unsure about, talk to the, ask the waiter about it. Like, I, I always tell the story a lot. Like, back in 2014, our first time eating at Beast Castle, we talked... We asked the uh, waiter, she brought out, the waitress, she brought out the chef. He he talked to me for about 30 minutes. He brought out all the dessert. He brought the dessert cart. And he really made me feel like I was the star of the show. And so never be afraid to ask the cast members. That is what they're there for. They They are the rock that Disney is made on. Cast members are the magic and always at, and also the restaurants are all different and all different foods. So, and you may want to have your steak a little bit more or less done than they usually make them. So make sure you talk to them about it. That way you get your own taste of the magic and maybe, and at the end of the meal, they give you something to remember them by. Like, say, these uh, Space 220 trading cards. Mm. One and done. So anyway, that's my tip. If you have any questions on how to do Disney for people with disabilities, let me know in the comments, and I'll make sure it gets into a future episode. Now it's time for this week's Top 5. So, Disney, when well, you think Disney thrill rides, you th think... Well, mostly people think the roller coasters. So, on that end, this week we are going to do my top five Disney roller coasters. But first, honorable mentions, um, the Barnstormer and Seven Dwarves Mine Train. Honorable mentions there. So... Let's get into it. Number five, Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind. Now, this one's also a one and done, as I've said many times before. Because, yeah, it's a great ride. I have a video of that coming up in the next few months. Or, or sooner, you never know with me. Uh, but anyway, it's a great ride. Great music. But... As I've said many times, it can cause motion sickness. I, because as I've said before, when when I got off it, I felt like dizzy. Those stairs at the end are not helpful at all. Uh, but yeah, great ride. Still kind of a one and done for me, but you never know. All right, number four, Big Thunder Mountain at the Magic Kingdom. Now, we always do this coaster. It is the wildest ride in the wilderness. And it, it it's a fun ride. A little loud, but fun. Classic Disney thrill ride right there. Number three, Slinky Dog Dash at Hollywood Studios. Now, this one is, is pretty cool. It's kind of like... 
a longer barnstormer with a launch in the middle and and the big and the little hills I go boing on them and it's it's a great coaster fun for the whole family and and you got that wheezy animatronic singing you got a friend of me at the end the very first representation of wheezy at a Disney park so thank you Disney uh, number two, Expedition Everest at Animal Kingdom. Yeah, this is, this one is, a, one, perhaps, uh, some would say is a, a Big Thunder Mountain on steroids. Because it has the train, but when you get up to the broken tracks, it takes you backwards, you have no idea where you're going. And then you go plummeting straight down the hill with all the curves, and you got the yet, and you got the broken Yeti at the end. Joe should Joe already should really got that one fixed before he left. I'm just saying. We miss you at Animal Kingdom, Joe Rody. And now my number one Disney coaster, Space Mountain. A for. Now, uh, Space Mountain, a classic Disney dark ride, classic Disney coaster. It's classic everything with Space Mountain. I mean, Space Mountain is the exact definition of classic. Because it is, it is the world's first indoor roller coaster. The uh, styling of the ride is based on... Uh, was inspired by the Matterhorn at Disneyland. And and the coaster and Space Mountain is so popular. There's one in almost every Disney park around the world. Except for Shanghai. Because they have Tron. But soon we'll be getting both. Uh, soon Florida will be getting both. I mean. Uh, but yeah. You can't go to Tomorrowland. Without riding Space Mountain. You can't. No, no offense or buts. So anyway, let me know in the comments what your favorite Disney coaster is. So, this week, uh, cast rehearsals have begun for Fantasmic at Hollywood Studios. I have yet to see this show for myself. But I, but I promise, next time we at least stay at, like, Boardwalk or Beach Club, I plan on seeing this show because it is on my Disney bucket list. And I know... That we're planning on California in in April to see. Hopefully, we'll be seeing their Fantasmic in Cal. But the one in Florida is is just as great, and so glad that they're having the cast back for that. <laughs> yeah, they have the cast for Fantasmic back, but <laughs> you know what I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say it right now. I'm going to say it right now. I'm gonna keep saying it till it happens. Hashtag Save the Citizens of Hollywood. But I'm glad that they're doing rehearsals for Fantasmic so that they get some of the new the new parts of the show oh right down to the book and and with D23 coming up next weekend we'll be doing some coverage of that uh from here of course we'll be doing some um a hot We'll, we'll hopefully we'll get a opening date for Fantas reopening date for Fantasmic. Hope hopefully we get. I'm anticipating that we get a closing date for Splash Mountain. Um, who knows? I I might be considering doing a uh, review after the uh, parks conference at D23. So if anyone else is interested in that, let me know because that would be kind of cool. So um. So anyway, that's this week's show. As I said, if you have any questions on how to do Disney for people with disabilities, let me know in the comments and I'll make sure it gets into a future episode. Now for this week's shout outs, make sure you guys check out Josh and Jenna over at Resort TV One. They do amazing live streams from the parks each and every week. They did a stream from the oh, from Halloween Horror Nights at Universal. Make sure you check them out. Also, make sure you guys check out Matt and Goo over at Goo to You. They also do amazing live streams from the parks. 
They premiered a new vlog yesterday where they were eating at Chicken Guy at Disney Springs. I've yet to try that one out myself. Maybe I'll, maybe I will. Who knows? Uh, also, make sure you guys check out Ear to Ear Magic. He also does amazing live streams from the parks. So make sure you check him out. Also, make sure you guys check out Jessica and Lewis over at One Little Spark JL. Great live streamers. Good supporters of the channel. Very sweet people. Make sure you guys check them out. For the latest Disney news and gossip, make sure you guys check out WW Magazine. And if you've not subscribed here yet to the Big John Network, what in the Walt Disney World are you waiting for? And tap the bell for notifications so you never miss a second of the fun. And until next time, may the mouse be with you.